welcome back to another video. It's been a while since I've uploaded and that's because I've been working on our upstairs bathroom for our kids and our guests. And that's what this video is gonna be about today, showing you how I updated it for cheap, updated it for cheap on a budget. So if you like those kinds of videos, so starting off, please stick I around, just keep me from watching, the medicine like, habit, subscribe, and I'm going to set it, take it right off and it. prep it to Get it ready to get sprayed black. I did want to go a little bit out of my comfort zone and do something a little bit more fun, a little bit more colorful because this is the bathroom that our kids will be using and our guests. So normally my style is very light, neutral, airy, organic feel. Um, and I wanted to do a little bit different, but I didn't like I'm not in love with the bathroom now that it's finished. I think it looks nice. I think it looks a lot better than it did before and it came out how I pictured it would come out. I just like when I walk into it, it doesn't make me feel super, super happy. But that being said, this was my first project that I that I did all by myself. Um, I had a lot of firsts in this bathroom and I'm so proud of myself for doing it, for getting things done. I changed the light fixture all by myself and I grouted floors by myself and I am super proud of what I've done. I will be leaving the bathroom like this for a while, but I think in the future I'll probably be going back in and making it a space that, you know, like I'm super in love with and yeah. So I just wanted to say that now, um, I wanted to still share this video because you know, it's, I'm very proud of it. And, and I figured that it, I should show it. Some people might really like the style of bathroom. I still think it looks nice. Um, but yeah, I think I'll be going in and kind of changing some things up, but. I'm just prepping the walls here for paint, so taking off all the accessories and then spackle, sand, and getting ready to paint. and doors in our house when we first got here is like this beige color so i'm slowly been tackling all the trim and that's what i'm doing painting first in the bathroom i'm just gonna paint it a nice clean white and then i'll move on to the walls Hoping you 
As you saw there, I was very happy, very proud of myself when I got the first light down. I think the hardest part for me was getting over the mental aspect of touching a wire. The breaker was off, but it was just a hard hump to get over once I got over that and touched the wire and realized that it wasn't in fact going to electrocute me. Then it was a breeze from there. Um, so if you ever wanted to change a light i'd say do it make sure your breakers off watch a video and it's super super easy this was my first time ever watching a light get changed and then changing a light and it was pretty easy so yeah i would recommend doing it and we'll make sure your breakers off i'm no electrician so i mean do what you want with your knowledge and experience um but yeah i would say it was super easy super simple and i'll probably be changing all the lights in my house in these next few months
Next up, I'm just going to be removing the cabinet doors from the vanity. Just going to get it ready to be painted. to work. 
where we used to be, yeah. But I just feel like dancing. Are you feeling the groove? I got these little hooks that you'll be seeing here off Amazon. I think that they suit the space perfectly. They're very easy to install. I did measure um, the distance apart from them when the tape was up because the tape was already leveled, so I didn't have to like re-level. Um, and then I just drilled, put the anchor in, and then you just twist the hook right onto the wall and you'll see that here in a second but I will link everything that I use like the floors the hooks um, stuff like that in the description below This was my first time painting cabinets and you didn't see um, me sanding but I did do a sand prior just a nice light sand to get all the glossy off the glossy stuff off and then I went in with a primer I went in with two coats of primer and I sanded in between each they're very light coats sanded in between each and then I went in with I think two coats of paint as well and I also sanded in between those coats and then I did a very light sanding um, after the final coat to make it sure it was all nice and smooth and they did turn out pretty well I do plan on painting our kitchen cabinets too especially after this I was nervous about painting the cabinets but they turned out better than I expected honestly with the roller um but I do plan on painting our kitchen cabinets. I think I'll get a sprayer for that just to make sure it's super, super flawless. That is a space that we're going to be in and around every day. So, um, and I do like how the vanity did come out, but like I said before, the space, it's, it looks good. I'm just not in love with it. Um, I think because the vanity itself, the counters and stuff, it, it does look a little dated. I think maybe in the future we might just completely replace the vanity, even though the cabinets did come out nice. Um, the countertops and stuff, it just, it's not my favorite. So yeah, I think in the future I might completely just rip this vanity out and put in something super modern and sleek. But for now, this works.
Everybody's been saying that you're up to no good. Everyone has been telling me. So moving on to the floors, I got these tiles off of Amazon. I kind of based the whole style of the bathroom off these tiles. Um, I like them. Um, I think they're cute for a kid's bathroom, the style at least, but the quality is just not there. They were super cheap, so I don't really know what I was thinking. The reviews also weren't that great, but I got them anyways, so that's on me. I'll probably end up pulling them up in a few months anyways because I know that they won't withstand use. They're the um, film with the design on it is already kind of peeling up on some tiles and the bathroom hasn't even been used yet. So wouldn't recommend them, but they look pretty cute. I got them with the intention of um, grouting in between them. So you'll see me try to use spacers. The spacers didn't work because I think the tiles weren't big enough. There was no adhesive underneath. So they just didn't work. I just eyeballed it. I didn't do a great job, but I think it looks pretty good. Um, and I would, I think when I redo them again, I'm going to grout them again. That's what I did with this bathroom floor. I did use grout on the peel and stick tiles. And I think it looked really good and it did a really good job of hiding my imperfections with the cuts around like the toilet and stuff like that. I also spaced the tiles off the baseboard a bit um, with the intention of grouting there too because I, I didn't remove the baseboards. I didn't have like a, nail a nail gun to reapply the baseboards. So I just spaced them off and then grouted, which you'll see. And I think it looked really good and I'm happy I did that. And I would do that again in the future. Um, but I wouldn't get these tiles again in the future. So I'll link them below in case you're wondering um, or curious about what they the tiles they are, you know, I'll just link them below, but yeah, I wouldn't recommend getting them. So for the cuts of these tiles, I just kind of like eyeballed it um, and cut smaller or like less, try to fit it in. And if I needed to cut more, I would. And that's how I tried to get the most perfect fit. And the grout did hide a lot of those imperfections, like I said. So if you were thinking about doing peel and stick tile and considering grout, I would recommend it. Um, like I said before, I spaced off the baseboards as well so that it i could put grout in and it made it look really like seamless i didn't need a quarter round or anything to cover it and i think it looked really good so if that's something you're considering i'd say go for it i get too drunk and too scared and lie to you if only So while I'm here working on the floor, I just wanted to explain the faucet situation in this bathroom. I do have a black faucet and a black drain that I tried already switching the faucet out. Um, but I just need like an adapter or something for the pipes to fit on the faucet. I'm not sure. I'm not a plumber, but I do. I did order something, so I hope it works. 
it just hasn't come in yet and I have my mom coming to stay with us in the next couple days so I'm just gonna stay out of the bathroom while she's here and I wanted to get this video up for you guys so just imagine the final show with a black faucet it's gonna look so good but I'm just finishing off the bathroom by adding the doors the hardware and then that is all so let me guys know what you think about this bathroom uh, redo on a budget i'm really proud of it it's i'm not in love with it but i think it does look really really cute for a nice kid's bathroom um thank you guys so much for watching like subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video bye guys <laughs>